Sounds to me as if we'd risk a lot for just a ghost of a chance. I'm not sure if this is wise. No chance is better than two. That's how the saying goes. You should talk to the Grandmaster. He called for you. Did he now? How nice. Then I suppose I'll answer the holy call of duty. Walk blessed, Archmagister. Ah, Prophetess. If you have a moment, I'd like to talk. Just come upstairs when you find the time. There you are. Have you recovered? Well, I suppose as good as can be expected under our circumstances. The Truchessus and half our Arkin is to reinforce the Gate Sigil, which makes working on the Beacon harder, of course. Furthermore, the nightmares have become worse, and more reports of the Red Madness are coming in. It's tragic. Truly tragic. Well, let's say we have a lead to a place where we could find a lead. But let me start at the beginning. While you were sleeping, someone tried to break into the storehouse of the garrison, a starling named Kamai. Well, brace yourself. He said he was looking for Shadow Steel, because he's been working on a starship for two decades now. He wants to use it to find the forgotten homeland of his people. Well, bear with me. At first, of course, we all considered him insane. He was begging and pleading and insisting that he was just an inch from finishing his ship and that it really could get him to the Star City. Oh. Unlike the others, the Grandmaster listened to him and he ordered the scouts in Doomville to look for the cave where he claimed his workshop was. And you won't believe it, but they found out two things. First of all, the ship really does exist. And secondly, he says he used ancient Starling plans to construct the ship, which were handed down for generations in Anku, the Starling city on Nerin. We had a look at them. They look very similar to the plans we used to construct the beacon. Well, either that, or the ones who created the beacon also helped the ancient fathers build the Star City. But either way, what it does mean is that the Ancient Fathers must have known about the Cycle, and therefore, about the High Ones and the Cleansing. Well, let's put it this way. If anybody knows, it's them. And it's definitely the best lead we have found so far. <sighs> Just imagine if it works. A city in the stars that has lasted for millennia. It's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. First, you should visit Kamai's workshop in the Powder Desert. The and, needless to say, be vigilant when outside the city. You are familiar with teleport magic, aren't you? Here, take this scroll. It will transport you directly to the desert. I need to get back to my studies now. The more we learn about the beacon, the more fascinating it becomes. Hello. What? What? Pathlessness, wherever you look, where is this supposed to lead? Yes? that just might work. Ah, there you are. <sighs> Lashari brought that map from some Piraean ruin a couple of weeks ago. Looks confusing, doesn't it? And now she's gone. Just like Constantine. I did, yes, because I require your help in a personal matter. Hard to explain. Come. Fair enough. Where do I start? Imagine the following scenario. You're in an old fortress. Suddenly a door opens and a bandit charges in. Before you even realize what is happening, he raises his bow 
knocks an arrow, and fires it straight at your throat. What happens next? That is one possibility, yes. The truth, however, is a bit more complex than that. One in which the bandit kills you. One in which he gets hit by a falling piece of rubble from the ceiling. One in which a tunnel spider jumps out from the shadows and kills him. The possibilities are endless. Everything that can happen, will happen. And creates a new eventuality in the process. I'm getting there. I assume you know that this mechanism is also the reason for the existence of magic. An arcanist is able to transport eventualities from one reality into another, and thus perform feats considered supernatural. But what if there were a way to not only bring elements of other eventualities into ours, but to travel these other realities physically? Well, this is where it gets exciting, isn't it? Fair enough. Where do I start? Have you ever heard of the name Dalmaric? That's the one. What hardly anyone knows, however, is that Dalmaric's experiments reached far beyond the Sunwheel. Among other things, he worked on a device called the Planeswalker, a combination of Andralian mentalism and Piraean technology. Temporarily, yes. Sadly, Dalmaric never had the chance to finish it, since he was too busy blowing up Thalgard. Lashari? No. Even if we were to find a reality where she didn't die, we couldn't bring her back. Suffice it to say that there is something I need to see, something I want to see. To be honest, it wasn't my intention to drag someone else into this, but there's no other choice, so here we are. Indeed, it would mean a lot to me if that's worth anything to you. Well, first of all, we need to acquire two materials I wasn't able to find here in Ark. The Aether Crystal, and a special kind of alloy. According to my research, Dalmaric's old laboratory in Thalgard would be a good place to start our search. Right in the middle of Thalgard's contaminated areas, so it will be dangerous. You have a map, don't you? Here. That's where we should find the entrance. Ah, and... One more thing. I would appreciate it if we could keep this matter between you and I for now. Firstly, because it's a personal matter. Secondly, it's too much of a risk as long as Kalim and his helper are still sauntering about. The less people know of this mission, the better. We will. I will meet you in Thalgard.
Already dark. Walk less, my lady. Sure. Where to? Good evening. So much to do, so little time.
tenacious bastards. As I said, I'll look for the alloy. You look for the crystal. I don't know exactly. And regarding your first quest, think of it as a kind of... I suggest you try as old... Come on, let's get started. Just come back here once you... Ah. Ah. Sunborn. The descendants of those who had the dubious... I don't think so. Researching the matter would be quite costly. Well, you'd have to ask the Holy Grand Master about that. They don't dare go outside the contaminated area. As I said, I'll look for the alloy. You look for... I don't know it. And regarding your... Think of it as a kind of... I suggest you try... Come on, let's get started. Just come back here once you've found the crystal.